Hello all, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to explore the Google uh, BigQuery console. If you are new to this Google Cloud platform or new to my channel, just visit my previous video on how to get started with the Google Cloud platform and get signed up with to the Google Cloud platform. If you have successfully signed up, then you can proceed with this video. Okay. So here, what we are going to do is just open your browser and then give console.cloud.google.com and this will redirect you to the Google Cloud Console. So from here, how to get started with BigQuery Console? Okay, so there are two different options to do it. One is by clicking on BigQuery in the search button here and then you can click on this. Okay, so this will take me to the BigQuery Console. So this is actually the console. If not, on the left, you can see there are various Google Cloud services which are available. And within the analytics, you can just go for BigQuery. And you can, if you pin this, it is actually pinning and you can pin it so that you can uh, make it available in the pinned folder, so in the pinned area so that it will be, you will be able to access it quickly and easily. Okay. So let us get started with the BigQuery console. So here on the left, what you see is the explorer area where you work on the projects. So now a project is an important concept in the Google Cloud. So it is a part of organizational structure on how the Google Cloud organizes things. And basically for our purpose, we can think of a project as almost like a one particular folder where you keep all of your resources for your uh, analysis and things okay so a project is a logical grouping of different things so now the different things can be our data set that we work with BigQuery or it might be a databases and the certain cloud skills as well but for our purpose we are going to restrict with the data sets alone in our uh, project so when you created a Google Cloud Platform account, it actually makes a new projects for you with the default name as my first project. Okay. Uh, if you want to import any other project or you wanted to create a new project, then you can click on that and create as per your interest. Okay. But for now, I'm going to restrict myself or I'm going to continue with this default name itself. And there is also an identifier and this is the name that Google makes up for us. And in this case, it's called as the logical whim and there is some number as well. And I'm simply going to reuse this project as a sort of our project activities. Okay. And you can see an expand uh, option here, a small uh, triangle. And when you click on that, you don't see anything listed underneath, right? So there are no data sets which are assigned within it. Okay. In order to bring in or in order to put in some data sets into this, just click on the three dots over here and you can create the data set. So data sets can be created in different ways. That is, it, it can be exported from other projects or uh, uh, from the public data sets as well. So Google, it actually, it has certain data sets which are made public to everybody and you can make use of those into our data sets for the analysis and the training purposes. So in the next video, we'll be actually looking at how to explore the public data sets as well. Uh, there is an option to collapse this particular explorer area. So you can click on that and you will get more space for your editing purposes. And this is actually the query editor where you write all your SQL queries. So SQL is structured query language and that's a language or the way that we create queries and we work with the data okay and you can also see a more option here which is for formatting the queries and there are also the various query settings which can be done with this so the format queries actually it, it helps you to format your queries in a structured way so that it will be easy and uh, uh, flexible to understand okay and there is also something called as the personal history, project history and saved queries. So personal history is nothing but the queries which you are running in your editor. Everything will be stored in the personal history. And with respect to the project history, so uh, there may be different people who will be involved in this project. So all those, the activities which are done as a part of that project will be displayed here. So what are the queries they run and... Um, what are the operations which they perform so all those history will be maintained in the project history and saved query so you may be coming across a complex query and you wanted to save it for future reference okay for that purpose you can save it and those saved queries will be listed in this saved query window okay for now i don't have anything in this since we are new to this and we we are getting started to the platform okay 
and also here you can see a plus symbol so you can click on that and it will open a new editor window so this actually helps you to work on the multiple queries at the same time okay and on the left you can see something called as a data transfer scheduled queries analytic hub monitoring sql translation etc okay so if you want to transfer the data then you can do with the help of the data transfer and schedule queries if you want to run certain queries in the regular time intervals uh, then you go for scheduled queries and then we have the analytic hub and then the monitoring if you wanted to monitor certain things okay so we will get into one by one the it in detail in the upcoming videos okay and that's all about an overview of the BigQuery console. So in the next video, we will try to explore about the public data sets and uh, we will try to import into our uh, BigQuery console and we can play with it. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.